Hello and welcome back to Info Place. We're uh, running around uh, the battle station. Where are um, where the freak are Rex? Where the freak is Rex? And Victor's. The hell? That's weird. Bethany, you see the bits of the Ma taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. Oh, the diplomats left? Oh! Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Okay. Let me just, uh... Just go talk to my crew a bit, cause this, it's been a while cause I talk, since I talked to my crew. Uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. Sign of life. The reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. That's true. Audio lock. Grant addresses new Aralot company recruits. So they don't understand why they put a tank grown freak in charge of a whole company. <laughs> And I don't understand why they gave me whining pie jacks for soldiers. I have more years on the battlefield than you have. Kills, runt. Its name is not runt, it's grunt. Get it right. Trying to mate with Solarian females doesn't count as fighting. No one talks to- <coughs> Someone help him up. We move in an hour. I wish I could do a bit of voice for that. <laughs> I wish you have a Barry tone to do that. Uh, dib, dib, dib. So Grunt is alive, he's just taking out new Aralite company recruits. Uh, email from Dr. Locke to Admiral Hackett. Could he almost open fire on the Ragnar when their ships fold up the pr to the Crucible, Admiral? I had to invoke your name more than once before they were on lead on board. The following instruction, but oh my god, do I have to tell you how nervous everyone on the project is to see Ragnar strutting down the halls? They almost gave Professor Lau a fit. I'll let you know how next staff meeting goes. <laughs> All right. Increased degrees in recent relay cr traffic. Okay. Increase, increase. Unavailable. Charon is supposed. Someone told me that Charon or Charon is the human one. That's interesting. Uh. If what Javik says is true, his people in peril is to left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror, and I think he would sacrifice, sacrifice all of us without a thought if I could bring them all back again. I revered my old notes today, they're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technologies they left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? Well... <laughs> well, you know, sometimes the truth just isn't as nice as you hope it is. Ooh, weapon upgrade kit. Ooh. Weapon damage bonus. Choose that one. Right. We want some of that. At your service. Thank you, Cliff. Wait, I thought you were put into that time f time thing. Time capsule. Yeah. Of course Paddock isn't around. Neither is Eve. Hey, Chakwas. Chakwas. Everything okay down here, Doctor? Yes. Paddock put everything back in its place. It's like I never left. He did seem organized. It's a shame what happened to him on Tuchanka. He deserved better. But we must move on. Oh, if I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. 
I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Aww. You're such a nice lady. I thought for sure you'd have... Oh, hi, Eve. What are you up to now? I'm uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Oh, you got nothing else to say. All right. Well, it's nice that she's down there sometimes, that they just don't stay... They don't just stay around in the same place. Now we only got to go and talk to James and Paddock. Where did we put Paddock? Uh, no one here. Mm -hmm. Life support. No one there. No one here. Uh. Uh. Engineering? Yeah, engineering. He's supposed to be in engineering. Yeah. Somewhere. This is why I think. He doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before ED even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, ED agrees with me. ED's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? ED agrees with me. The Normandy is a ship. ED is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Yeah, that's probably... Adams would like to speak to you. Oh, okay. Adams. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniel that was a thing? Edie and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. Oof, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications well. really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. 
That sounds more crucial than just, oh, you might, it might happen. No, we're getting that. Break that. It might also put some of the strain off the main engine, so... And the main shields, to be honest. Maybe even the life support system. Ugh. Hey. Hey, Javik! Commander, you settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of this ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. That would like be Miranda. Red. And a drill. There was illness in him. Faint. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. You're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. That's the same so opinion the Reapers have, though, so that's not good. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Oh my god, Javik. You're not a bad person, you're just so misguided. Thank you, Commander. I have seen the death of a Reaper. It has been a long time. Let's hope it's the first. If the Krogan seek retribution Oops. for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. In the meantime, they are useful cannon fodder against the Reapers. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Oh, sorry for interrupting that one. I thought it was over by the first sentence. Crap. Oh well. Out we go. I think that was her one. Maybe... Mm, make sure... I think I, I picked up some gloves or something. On, uh... On Tachanka. So that's... Let's see... Chest is still... Hankada. I'm thinking... Mm, melee damage or health boost. I will probably keep them health boost. How recharge? Weapon damage, but less ammo capacity. I kind of make up for that in the actual weapon, though. Hmm. So that's. I think I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. 
Maybe feed my fish. Make sure they don't die <laughs> again. Pretty things. Do I have any? Ferrous, a crew of colonists on Ferrous are mounted as defensive again against arriving Reaper forces, holding back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militias from Shoes Help. Holy crap, Shoes Help! Said to be survivors of a savage gaff attack several years ago has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. The colonies are using improvised weapons as well as supply servals from defunct Exogeny fa facility. This colony is our home, colony spokesperson Lisbeth Bainham said. We have survived worse and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have time for full evacuation before Reaper forces arrive. That's awesome! Dear Commander Sherwood, I don't know if you have seen the articles, but the people of Shoes Hope are fighting again. The time is to rebuild instead of the Geth. I'm not sure you remember me, but you will help me back on Ilium. The Florian is dead now, I can confirm that, but the wars in our bodies remain and so on some level we are still connected. It is not necessarily a bad thing. As we fight back the Reapers, we feel each other and act with one mind, ignoring pain when the need arises. I'm sure I'm st still indoctrinated. I remember Sorin's voice in my mind when I went willingly to the Florian as its thrall, but my connection to the people of Shoes Hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. The situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonies, colonists should separate for their own safety, but with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commanders. Our force is strong. I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We're leaving for us soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you. Shiala. That's awesome! Uh, General Corinthus, when you arrived on Mene, had a hard time seeing how you flying off one of our best generals would benefit our fights against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I am impressed. You broke the nine lines that many thought impossible. Paladin might be saved after all. That's awesome! Yay! Good news! <laughs> Making babies again will be fun. Soon as this war's over, let's just say I'll do my part <laughs> to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in the Catholic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad. I run the show. I'll have to save the Surians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. Uh, Commander, I'm deeply disappointed by your actions on Tachanga. As I thought I made clear, current Degenefetch will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat has passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in, the race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping the researching Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the Genophage, and the Solarian Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I'm ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrifices his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day not only for my people, but for all of galactic civilization. Best wishes, an old stubborn bitch! Yay! God damn it. So... So those are all... like, things I would expect to be called. Told, so... Or is it acquired? Shoes up colonists. Yay! That's really, really good. Alright, well, I can see we're almost out of time anyway. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Fuck Place. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time, we're going to talk to Joker and then go on our first mission. Since forever. Nah, not since forever. I'm, I'm remembering on. Until then, bye!